This is Code.org. I'm currently working on CS Principles, Unit 5, Building Apps, Lesson 15, Processing Arrays, Puzzle 15. Reusing a function pattern. Find minimum. Nice work. You've written a function that implements an algorithm to process an array. If you feel comfortable with basic pattern, if you feel comfortable with the basic pattern you use to create this function, you can quickly create functions for many other useful algorithms that work on arrays. Basic function pattern. Create a function that accepts an array as input. Create a flag variable set uh, and set its default value before looping through the array. Loop through your array with a for loop that visits every index of the array. And you do that by making sure that in your for loop you set your i or whatever you're iterating with less than the length of the array and then make sure to set i equal to zero for starting because then you'll get the zero index and you'll stop uh, at the end of the array. Update your flag as necessary with every iteration of your loop. Display your flag at the end of the loop. Well, you don't technically have to do that part, but okay. Let's use this pattern to write a function that displays the smallest value in an array. Instead of using true-false flag to indicate whether we found a value, we'll use a variable to keep track of the smallest value we've seen in the array so far. Do this. Starter code has been provided which outlines and calls find min value with different inputs. Your job will be to finish writing the function. Before programming, try to develop an algorithm that you could use to find the minimum value in an array. Use, a pattern out, use the pattern outlined above. Write the code in places indicated with comments to keep the function, to complete the function. You'll want to use min val variable to keep track of the smallest value you've found so far. You'll want to write an if statement that checks whether the current value in the array is less than min val. If it is, then update the smallest value. Run the code to ensure. Hint pseudocode expand. So here is a nice little hint for us. All right, let's see. I'm going to go to blocks. Uh, what value should min value be set to? Okay, so did they say... We're going to want to set it to probably zero, right? Before a loop, if there's, non -neg if there's no negative numbers. So I'm just going to add equals and... Z whoops, zero. Okay, so min val. Oh, oh, minimum, minimum. Oh, what's our maximum? Hmm, where's our list? So this is our list, uh, our array. <clears throat> this is our array random right here. Okay, and the maximum value in it is going to be a hundred. So if we're looking for the minimum, right? So it's going to be a random number between zero and one hundred. Uh, find minimum. We could set this equal to well. Uh, let's set it equal to one oh one because then we'll know that that's not a number within our function if we want to do stuff with this later right show blocks okay now update the minimum value on each iteration so we want to check the we already have a for loop here. We're getting length, right? We want to check if it's less than the minimum. So if, what's our, oh, we're using the list parameter. If list i is less than min val, oh yeah, min val, what are we going to want to do? <clears throat> we want we want to say min val. I'm going to go to show text again. And we're going to do the fancy way. We're going to do min val 
and then equal oh no we're not going to just add we want to set it equal to list i right so if our current index if the value of our current index is less than the minimum value we have saved well we want to take our minimum value and set it equal to whatever that number is at that index so now our in our minimum value will be equal to that index that was less than it okay and so let's see our blocks again show smallest val min val uh -huh. and then do we have oh that's also looking right all right let's give it a shot so the smallest value is 14 yep the smallest value is one yep smallest value is one yep and this is one one 14 let's run it again and see Forty, yeah. One, cool. And you can do some testing, right? So maybe I make this fifteen. Let's see what it says now. So three, yep, cool. That's awesome. Um, so again, it's tricky. You need to know about iteration of arrays, but it is just going to be another if. And then what you're going to do is in this if you're checking if min val is less, and then don't just add to your variable min val. You want to reassign it. You want to assign it to be equal to whatever value is less than it. And that way you know which, uh, what's the lowest value. Awesome. Well, let's keep uh, going.